Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, January 9th of 2022. It's 6.19 p.m. Uh, I've been watching, sort of tracking the uh, package that's supposed to come today, and that's the, uh, what is that? Uh, let's see. Let's go to... Uh, Amazon, go to uh, t -t -t orders, and it's supposed to be this device it is supposed to be coming today, but it's, it's not going to, it looks like. Um, now I've got the Egato. HD60S, which I used in the past for a little bit, played with it, it worked fine. Um, it uses a, uh, you know, a driver, and so I wanted to go with one that doesn't uh, require loading a driver, and. Uh, so I ordered this, and I just got a message, you know, that popped up that uh, they tried to deliver, but they couldn't get access. We have a we live in a gated apartment complex, and sometimes those people that are, you know, of course today is Sunday, and they came by the post office, so uh, sometimes they say they can't get access. I don't know if they just don't want to get access or or what the deal is but so it may still it could still come but there's a message that it's not going to so I guess I'm not going to be hooking this up tonight and I'm not going to go ahead and I have everything I need here to hook this up the Agato um, but I don't want to I want to keep it simple and if I install that, I've got to install the driver. And then when I install this other thing, which doesn't require a driver to be installed. Um, so, so I don't think you're going to see this tonight. I've got my camera up here, but just timed out. So I guess that's something I have to set. I've got my Panasonic G7 camera up here. And I have one of those battery eliminator things in there. So my battery in the camera is actually running off, you know, of AC. There's a little block that goes in there. So that, that's taken care of. Everything is taken care of except me not getting the... Uh, a shipment cannot be delivered by UPS they will try again, which means another day. That just appeared on the Alexa device. So I could take a nap at 6.22 p.m., but we've got a, a small order of food coming in, being delivered by Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. I keep getting Walmart and Walgreens. Uh, ouch, mixed up. So there is uh, some things coming in that small order that I'm going to wait and uh, eat a little bit of it when it comes in and then go go to bed. And tomorrow is Monday, so hopefully the uh, thing will be delivered tomorrow by the post office. We've got small mailboxes here in this apartment complex, and then they have those things that a lot of apartment complexes have, where there's some bigger boxes over there, and then they, uh, the post person puts uh, the package in one of those boxes, and then puts the key for that box into your mailbox, and then so you over your mailbox there's a key, and it tells you what key, what number it is, and go over, and then you get your package. Um, 
So hopefully we'll get it tomorrow. And they usually deliver pretty early. I mean, the post people delivering the regular mail here, they usually come pretty early in the morning. I think about usually about 10 o'clock in the morning, something like that. So what else is new? Um, I think that is about it. Well, what I may do is uh, wait for the food to come. And when I say food, we're having groceries delivered. It's, it's not like we're not having, you know, hamburgers and french fries or Kentucky Fried Chicken or something like that delivered. It's, like, it's the grocery store thing delivering. Uh, so I'm going to wait for the food to come and then I'm going to eat some food, take a nap, and when I wake up, I think I will uh, uh, I think I will hook up my Chrome box over here. As you know, I've switched so many times back and forth, back and forth. I like having a, a desk area here that I can do stuff, that I can put stuff on. And putting a computer and a monitor, you know, there, it just takes up so much room. But I think I'm going to do that anyway tonight, later. Um, Oops. So I will not be using with this a uh, video camera. I, I will maybe be using the, continuing to use this. It depends on how. And, uh, but I'll be using a digital. And I'm not going to be using my, I have no intention to be, of using my cell phone at this time. But things may change. Uh, let's see what kind of reviews this has got. Not sure if you can probably maybe hear, I've got a space heater sitting up behind me. Uh, it kicks on occasionally. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 49 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 31 degrees. And I have an electric blanket on my bed. Game capturing card. No drivers needed to be installed. Supports all standard HD video protocols, compatible with HD, video support 48K, audio 44.1K, compatible with Windows, Linux, operating systems, uh, USB 3.0, 300 to 350 megabytes, uh, compatible with USB 2.0. The process of video and audio is carried out by the dongle and does not occupy the CPU. It can record single channel HD video signals. It can automatically recognize and enter the video formats and adjust itself to automatically adjust the output size and frames. HD loop out can connect an external monitor for viewing. 
dimensions of gives us size. Okay, I'm getting the uh, Tieslin, which is thirty-nine dollars, and I think these, I think they were not the. Um, Not the HDO, you know, the Elgato, that's not. But these devices, and I guess maybe this one too, uh, apparently they're all, you know, some factory in uh, China is manufacturing these and using the same chips and everything, you know, basically I think everything is the same. Uh, Now here's one, I wonder if it's <laughs> using the same chip, you know. Here's people saying, I can't get audio to work from the Xbox One to the Streamlabs, okay. Somebody else says, uh, the capture card resolution uh, up to 1080 60p rather than up to the 1080 30. Somebody says, will this work with a Facebook Live? Uh, okay, here's somebody, don't buy it. It's actually USB 2.0 and can only support 60 frames a second at 720. You know, there'll be a, there's gonna be a lot of complaints about something like this because somebody's not gonna know really how to hook it up, even though it's very simple. And it's gonna be you know, the things that are being hooked up to is going to be radically different, you know. Um, somebody says this is a Miranda, Miranda box in a different shell, which it is. That's what I'm saying, that uh, <laughs> one chip, but... Uh, Uh, well, they get an awful lot of bad ones, but you do with something like this because they're putting this out and uh, there's a whole bunch of people that are buying something like this and no telling what, you know, no telling what hardware, no telling what kind of cables they have, uh, just uh, so. Anyway, in about 30 minutes, I guess I better get ready. About 30 minutes, the food will be here. Um, see, I'm getting a little salad. Uh, you know, already in the little plastic things like you could take to work or something like that. And uh, there's a potato salad coming. And let's see, a few bananas. We can, when we order so often, you know, you know, bananas seem like they go bad so fast. So we end up ordering like three bananas. And then, because we order that often. Uh, my nose wants to run. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try to uh, schedule my son and myself for our booster virus shot. And, uh, And Hillary's going to drive us if, if, when we can get it scheduled. And she's going to try, once we get it scheduled for my uh, son and I, uh, then she's going to try right away to get scheduled in, you know, at the same time. So we can, all four of us go in there. And of course, you know, we have to wait forever, you know. But they, I think they do it like every 15 minutes. And if we can get them... But I think if I can get a schedule in tomorrow, which maybe they won't be able to, you know, uh, get that over with. That'll be the booster shot for 
my grown son and myself. And uh, Hillary needs her booster shot and her son, my grandson, you know, he needs his booster shot too. So anyway, thank you very much for watching.